Look at him. Look at, Look at him. him. Oh. Oh, he's still chasing it. Got him. Yes. Got him. Yes. Got him. There he is, Dad. All right, guys. Thank you for clicking on this video. You know I appreciate it. This is either the last or one of the last videos that I have got from South America. In this video, me and my dad are fishing in some crazy places. We're going through these really clear creeks to get to these hidden lagoons that have monster fish. And for these crazy trips, they're normally about seven days long, and if it's daylight, I am just casting my heart out, trying my hardest to catch big fish. And apparently I did not have time to make an intro for this series of clips, but this is gonna have to suffice. Sitting in my living room, daydreaming about going back. Hope you guys enjoyed this footage. Thank you for watching. There's a nice one. Come on. Look at him, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> Six or seven strikes. Look at him. Come on. The big one? Yeah. Oh, there's a little bit nicer one right in front of us. Oh! Look saying? at all of them, Dad. Turn around, turn around. Oh, man. See that fish up there? See that peacock? Is that a fish? No, it's a lighter area. That might not be a fish. It is a fish. Look at him, chase it. Look at him. Get him. Get him. See that? There's three, there's four, there's five. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Stop water any good? See what happens. Scares him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Oh. oh, he's still chasing it. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? That's insane. You still see any more up there? It's hard to tell us right now. I thought I saw it, but I don't think it is. Beautiful. So, me and Dad had been casting these giant topwater lures for close to two hours, and we had not raised one fish. So, we stopped. We take a break, need a granola bar, and while we're doing that, a giant fish explodes in some timber right next to us. And we've got about 10 seconds to catch that fish before it heads back to deeper water. So I turn the GoPro on and grab my rod, and this is what happened. What a piece of crap. Oh, what a... Big joke. You got. That fish would be dead meat if my lure wasn't freaking stuck. What a rip off. Got him! Yes! Got him! Yes! Ah! Uh. Gracias. It's okay. Hello, right. 
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, cuidado, cuidado. He got him. No tengo. <laughs> what a mean looking dude. You want to stand up here? Yes. Good day. Oh my gosh. Biggest one yet, Dad. Wow, guys. Look at that giant. That was a fun one. We saw that fish chasing bait. Casted to him for a while. I got super upset because my lure was fouled up in my braid. Eventually we got her. That is a giant peacock bass. Oh, that's insane. Oh no, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay. Look at him. Look at him. Big wave. He's still right there. Really? Yeah. He's in the dirty water? No, he's right here. Oh, yeah. Try and catch him. There he goes. There he is, Dad. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my God. Big, isn't he? He's not small. Oh wow. Oh my God. How are you gonna get over here? I don't know if I need to. He's okay. no, he's still got him. Come on. On the lipless crankbait, man. No, he's in rocks. Oh, I hate that. You see him? No, I ain't seen him. I just feel him in the rock. He's coming up now. He's coming up river. Oh, look at him. He wrecked the lipless. Nice. Woo. I'm gonna try and get over there in the shallow water. Hopefully he don't hook me in the meantime. Guys, look at that big old Payara. He hit on a lipless crankbait. That is a pretty cool fish right there. Crazy mouth on him. Let's let him go. Thanks, kid. Look at him. He's ready. Go on, buddy. There he goes. All right, I got a question for you guys. What I've kind of come to notice is that people want to watch what they can do. And since most of my viewers are in the United States, there's not that many people that are, are searching 
how to catch peacock bass in South America. So I'm just trying to figure YouTube out and I guess figure my subscribers out. Do you guys like the South American footage where I'm traveling across the world and catching these exotic fish that a lot of people haven't ever seen? Or do you like me catching bass in the sewer storm drain in my backyard? I'm really curious about that. What do you guys like more, local monster fish or monster fish way the heck out in the middle of nowhere in a different country? Please let me know below and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys.